Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're gonna be doing a QA. and a It's been a minute since I was able to really talk to you guys and give you guys advice and spill some tea. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, that's where I get all my questions from. This looks disgusting, but I made myself a little <sighs> matcha latte. It tastes really awful, but I'm trying to be healthier these days. That's just the tea. <gasps> this is tea, green tea matcha latte. How to deal with strict parents. I think the best way that you can deal with strict parents is to respect them and understand that they're being strict because they are trying to like look out for you obviously and I know when you guys get to that age where you kind of want to go out do things experience life I think the worst possible thing you can do is not communicate with your parents and kind of just go off and do whatever you want I think communication is key because you want them to understand your point of view. For example, you want to go out to a party and they're like, no, you're not allowed. You have to be like, this is part of growing up. I want to go out. I can see my friends. I'm not going to be drinking and smoking and what you think I'm going to be doing. I would just want to have fun and be able to experience this and not just stay at home. Like, what am I going to do if I stay at home? I think that's the best way to deal with strict parents. I personally, my parents were a lot more strict when I was younger. I don't know, like my parents know that I drink. My parents know that I go out, go clubbing. And they're okay with it because through my whole childhood I've been honest about what I'm doing. You have to gain trust, which is like the key. You know what I mean? It's very complicated. Parents are a lot. <laughs> if you could punch anyone in the world, who would you punch? So I think if I could punch anyone, it would definitely be Donald Trump. Obviously I would never be able to punch him because I just probably wouldn't even be able to get that close to him because I have pigment, so you know. Worst hookup story. Let me think. I don't know if this is weird to you guys, but I wrote a list <laughs> in my diary. So I gotta go check back, see who's on it. <laughs> I hope the guy that um, I'm talking about isn't watching this because I'm gonna literally be so mean. Oh my God, I feel bad. Okay, I was clubbing and I hooked up with a guy at the club. When I mean hook up, it's just like we kissed. And he was like trying to talk to me and stuff. And it was so weird because like in the club, in like the darkness of the club and with the lights and everything, I'm like, cute, he's a cute guy. You get home and then the next day, he follows me on Instagram, right? And I go and I see all the club pictures and then he's really not as cute as I thought. I just felt so uncomfortable that like I totally imagined him in my head, like so different. How to deal with fuck boys and not get taken advantage of. It sounds like there's just like one basic type of fuckboy. No, there's so many different ranges and it's so hard to tell. You just need to be aware of the signs. If they're going into it in a way where they are very honest and want to spend time with you and want to pursue you in a way, or if they're in it to, you know, in it for the goods. Now, how to handle that is to, and I know this is really hard, it's much easier said than done, is to not catch feelings. Don't settle for that because there's so many other people. If you don't feel like there is, it's literally so okay to be single and I think a lot of people don't understand that it's so fine to be single and everyone rushes into relationships and settles for people like park boys. That's the thing. You just need to be okay with being single. As soon as you got that down, then you can handle any boy that comes your way. Not a question, but can you put up your Spotify playlist, please? Of course, I'll have it linked down below. I also have a lot of playlist videos too that you guys can check out on my channel. What's your biggest regret in high school? Um, I don't even know if I have any regrets. Probably just like wasting time on boys. I would stress so much about guys, which is so ridiculous to think about now because why there was such a small selection of guys too in high school that i would settle just the cuter ones which was stupid because they're always the worst ones how many cities or countries have you lived in so i was born in montreal and i moved around a lot because my dad's job involved him like moving around like through promotions and stuff so next stop after that was upstate new york in a city called albany for about six seven years after that i moved to switzerland um, in a city called Basel. I pretty much spent most of my growing up years there and recently about four Almost five so kind of not so recently actually I moved here I live in the province of Ontario pretty close to Toronto So I've lived in four cities 
in three different countries. Do you believe in conspiracy theories? I'm not like really adamant about any specific one, but they really do interest me like simulations and the Mandela effect and even the flat earth one is like really interesting. I also really do think that the government keeps a lot of things hidden from us. Just know, just know, I know what you guys are up to. They can hear us. How funny are you? Zero to 10, I'd rate you as an 11. Thank you so, so, so much. I'd rate myself, just to be humble, at a solid 7.8. So I think if you agree, comment down below. 7.8, thank you. Favorite Drake song, Lots of Love. Tell us about your worst relationship. I'll tell you guys about the worst guy I've ever talked to. Um, he was, como se dice, a piece of shit. And technically I never really talked to him because he didn't answer my texts. He would talk about my friends, say how cute they were to my face. And he would um, text me one day and then never reply. And then every three weeks or so would text me again. You know what? It's the thing that I showed that I was interested too soon. And then he just took advantage of it. And that's what we call, ladies and gentlemen, a fuck boy. Thank you. Have a nice day. Do you like Margot's boyfriend? I love Margot's boyfriend. I met him about uh, six months ago and we bonded really good. Okay, now I'm gonna go to a DM that I got from a girl. So she said, I need your advice big time in this Q&A. Please keep this a non. My friends and I like the same guy and I don't know what to do about it because we are all going to different schools in different states in like a month. And I don't know if I should leave it or do something about it because I genuinely really like him. If you guys are both mutually know that you guys like the same guy, this should be a little bit easier. If you're in a situation when your friend told you that she likes this guy, but you never told her that you like the same guy, then we're in a little bit of a pickle. But don't worry, I still got you. First of all, kind of reflect in your mind. Make sure that that's what you wanna do because you are risking your relationship with your friend and you have to be really careful how you approach it. You don't want to express your feelings to the guy before you make sure that it's okay with your friend. Tell her how you feel, be so, so straight up to her. The best way possible is in person because I feel like over text, it's gonna get messy. Also keep her feelings in the situation as well and let her know that you respect her feelings and that she has feelings for the guy too. This is getting really long and complicated so I'm gonna end it now. You just need to communicate, make sure it's okay with them, and then go for the guy. If it all works out, let me know, DM me, let me know what happens because I'm interested. Okay, I answered a lot of questions and I really hope this was interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the continuous support on my channel. You guys don't really know it, but it makes me so, so happy to see you guys so excited about my videos and commenting and liking my videos. The little things can make a girl so happy, so thank you. Once again, don't forget to comment down below what you want to see, like the video, put my post notifications on, subscribe, all that cute, fun stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I love you all very, very much. Bye! Give this is a thumbs up if you date me. <laughs> tell me, tell me this is love. What's the farthest you've gotten with a guy or a girl, whatever your preference? And what's the last letter of their first and last name? Ooh. I just saw a guy slide into my DMs. See it.